John Burge back with another performance of a prelude from my 24 preludes for solo piano. Today is number 15 in D flat major. It has the subtitle polytonality. Polytonality is really just a term for a passage of music in which you can really hear more than one distinct key. In fact, usually it's just two distinct keys and they're often presented by uh, contrasting registers, as I'm going to use in my prelude, or if it was an, an instrumental composition or an orchestral composition, you might very well have, say, the winds and strings playing in one key and then the brass playing in a completely different key. Uh, one of the most famous or uh, notable examples of polytonality is Stravinsky's ballet Petrushka, in which he creates a sonority that's become known as the Petrushka chord, he takes a C major chord and combines it with an F sharp major chord. And in fact, if you play them together, you really hear them almost like one sonority, but, but there's this brightness that's created by those, those two major keys. The nice thing about C major and F sharp majors are a tritone apart. So C major is no sharps or flats, F sharp major or G flat major it has, uh, six sharps or flats and so there's a real level of contrast you know the notes really don't overlap uh, in that particular chord though they're very close together i also use the tritone relationship in this prelude i have uh, the lower part pretty much in d flat major throughout and the upper part in g major in fact much of this prelude is written on three lines of music three staves and the lower two staves have a D flat major key signature and the upper staff line has a G major key signature. Uh, there's a, a form that I use in this prelude in which I, I create an opening section. It's just four phrases uh, with an answer in G major that's relatively introspective. And then I simply repeat that in the second portion of the prelude, pushing out the phrases, really expanding the chords and the voicing using the register of the piano, building to a big climax that it almost sounds uh, completely different, although it's still in the same character, but you really just have a theme and then a variation. Uh, in the theme itself, the left hand plays in, in pretty much a sort of three-part chorale-like fashion, very independent part writing, but you can play it all with the left hand. So that allows me to hold those notes while the right hand plays more or less G major triads, although there's a melody implied in the top note. In the middle section, I use the sostenuto pedal. That's the middle pedal on a piano in which if I hold the chord in the left hand and I press down the sostenuto pedal, it allows those strings to keep ringing when I lift up my fingers. And that means I can play with two hands in G major up high, which, uh, you know, really you need a sostenuto pedal to play this prelude. It really doesn't work otherwise. So prelude number 15 in D flat major polytonality. Thank you. 